Hello! Today I am painting this Chimera, and to be completely honest, I am slightly disappointed in it. It is well modelled, don't get me wrong, in terms of the print, the level of detail in the fur and the feathers and stuff, and on the wings, awesome. But it's got this weird kind of hand paw position that I don't quite like. These are the colours that I'm planning on using. I'm going to do a sort of lion skin kind of belly going up to brown and I'm going to use black to darken that at the back and this flesh colour to lighten it at the front. But mostly I'm going to be trying to do this quickly. It is a big model but it will be for my Dungeons and Dragons games and it doesn't need to be particularly amazing detail. I also don't want to spend too much time on it because of the weird like double arm position thing. But I do want it to look good, and the fact that it has so much kind of fur and printed or physical 3D detail on it kind of lends itself well to dry brushing. And I like learning from the videos as I talk about them, and because I had in my head this idea of I'm going to dry brush the whole thing, that's actually what I'm trying to do here, which right now I can see looks absolutely ridiculous. It's a smooth area, it lends itself so well to wet blending, which is essentially what's happened in the end, because as you can see I've just got the dark brown and it's mixing into this, this kind of warm, light beige colour. But that wasn't necessarily my intention when I was painting, and that is ridiculous. That said though, this is where I am with just the base coat. So I have done, as you can see, the colours on the heads, and all I have done is dry brush, so the black is still showing in the shadowed areas, and I'm going to do each of these heads in two or maybe three highlight colours. So I'm going to use white on this eagle head. I'm going to use orange on the red dragon head. And I'm going to use a grey on the blue bestial head. And once I've done that, that is what we get here. And as you can see, the level of detail, the print on this model, and the technique of dry brushing has got me to this position in way under an hour. As for the wings, I've gone for red. I've added in a purple into the sides, the recessed areas on what will be the top of the wings. So the central part, the bit that sticks out or up the most, will be lighter and I will just dry brush in more reds and add a little bit of orange to really get a highlight to the tops of the wings. And then underneath, it will be the opposite. So I will have a red, maybe mixed with a bit of purple, so a dark red in the middle recess area. And then I will have a darker colour on the edges. As for the base, the rock, that's made of, well, all sorts of different materials. None of that really matters. Again, I'm just dry brushing. There's a lot of texture on this, the way that I've made it. And I'm just going to dry brush. But what I am going to do when I dry brush is not worry too much about getting rid of as much paint as possible. So it's slightly wet still, and it will blend into each other, and I'm going to use some blues and greens and oranges and reds and all sorts of different things, just bit by bit, let it all blend together, make it own browns and tones and things like that, because I think that looks a bit more natural. And so this is where I get when I put it all together. We have all of the different colors and tones and things coming together, and this is all just dry brushed and has taken me probably not much more than an hour to do the whole thing. In my opinion, perfectly tabletop ready. From here is where you could certainly take a brush and add more details or blend in the colours a bit better because the difference between the brown and the red is quite a lot. And of course paint some of these smaller details like the claws and the teeth and of course the beak and things like that. I honestly only spent another half an hour or an hour doing a little bit of those details and, and this is the result that I got. Is it perfect? Is it amazing? Is it going to win awards? Is it going to stand up to the scrupulous eye of the player that picks up the miniature to look at all the details? I mean, no, probably not. But from a tabletop point of view, perfectly acceptable. From a level of speed, awesome. Got it done super quick, one evening, no problem at all. And that's all I got for you in this video, so till next one.